Welcome back to Read Only Memories. We need to get into the VIP section to talk to Jess. And to do that, we need to talk to somebody and have them vouch for us. So let's make some friends. There's some sort of strange contraption on her arm that trails up to her ear. Oh, hi. Sorry, I don't really feel like talking. It's been a long day. Maybe after I have a few drinks in me. Maybe I'll get something sweet. Hmm, is that a hint? Should I get her a drink? I don't have anything on me, do I? <laughs> well, other than super spoiled milk. Um, probably sour. But, you know, oh, I can't even try it. Dang. Okay, let's see if we can get her something. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Ah, there's no way you'd give me access to the VIP area. Is there? I doubt it, but I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. Sorry, it's being rented out for a private party tonight. Hybrid night. I try not to judge, but I don't think this is your crowd, Nelavanda. <laughs> True. Still, though, guess I'll take a drink. Okay, so something sweet, huh? Um... Um... Subtle bitch? <laughs> what the hell kind of a name is that for a drink? Hmm. And what kind of a name is drinking game for a drink? Drinking game the drink? Okay, one of these has to have like a sweet name, right? Tastes like orange. Okay, that might be sweet. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I skipped it. I, I skipped the, the definition, which told me what was in it. Aw. Turing doesn't get to use their alcohol dictionary. Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. Nah, I just memorized all the drinks. You're better with the customers. Anyway, the taste like orange is two parts... Oh, he's gonna tell me, okay. Two parts champagne, one part orange flavored vodka. Uh, okay, is champagne sweet? I don't actually know. You know, orange soda, orange everything. Oh, orange soda, that's sweet. Hmm. Ever thought about what orange tastes like? It's this. This drink is what orange tastes like. That's all you can say to describe it. It tastes like orange. Thank you, hon. Does it taste like orange sound good? Yeah. Here you go. Okay, would you like this? Oh, that's nice. But I don't really like that. Sorry. Oh. Excuse me, person I don't know. Do you want this? Give me a few minutes, okay? Excuse me, other person I don't know. Do you want this? No, I, I don't want a sip. God. What a waste of money. I'm assuming I paid for it. I don't know. Nobody asked me to pay for it, but I'm assuming I paid for it. Let's talk to you. Uh, hi. Sorry, but I'm pretty wrapped up in something important. Don't have time to talk. Fair enough. Sorry, cutie. Not quite ready to play the room yet. Gonna try to get another drink into me first. Maybe I'll get something bitter. Come hit me up later. Okay, sweet and bitter. Well, whatever I have is apparently not sweet, so I guess maybe it's bitter? Or maybe it's neither. Uh, let's try it. Not my style, tiger. I like the good stuff. Thus implying that that's the bad stuff? Rude. Alright, let's get something else. 
drink, please. Mmm. <laughs> Wiener juice? Ew. Rusted lace. That sounds bitter. Maybe. I think there was something that was obviously bitter, though. I want to find it. Ooh, sugar rush. That's gotta be sweet, right? Let's see. Once again, Gus has got this one. Half cotton candy liquor, half bunch. Oh yeah, that's very sweet. Tastes sweet and fruity, but gets you drunk. Cheap, fun, and often served in solo cups at furry conventions. Yeah, sounds great. I'll take it. Okay, this has to be what you're into, right? How did you know what I was planning on ordering? I guess you can sit down for a bit. Yes! I'm Catelyn. So... I'm sorry I'm not more sociable. Things have just been rough today. Oh? My brother's going through gene therapy, and these darn protests around the clinic are making life hard for him. He still has to go in at least twice a week for health and maintenance, and they're always outside hassling him. It's exhausting. Hmm. The first option or the second? You seem to care about him a lot, seems kind of like a weird thing to say. I mean, they're... they are their brother, so why wouldn't they care about them? I've been looking into the protests for an article I'm writing. Oh, are you a journalist or something? That's really interesting. These human revolution guys are my favorite folks. They want to drag us all back to the Dark Ages, regardless of who it hurts. Sorry, I don't want to rant about it. So what's your article about? Wouldn't want my story to get scooped. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Mostly about what you just said. Dragging us back to the Dark Ages. Very cool. If you need an interview of someone on the street or something, I'd be willing to talk on the record, or something. I mean, it's just print, right? Hey, it's been really nice talking to you, but I kind of feel like dancing now. You... You want to come with me to the VIP area in the back? I have some friends who might be over there. We can hang out with them. They'll like you. Sure. Great, let's go. Didn't I say to beat it? She's with me. Uh, yeah, okay, if you say so. But it's on you if she can't stay out of trouble. Uh, Nilavanda. You have an incoming call, priority marked as urgent. But why don't you take that call? I'll meet up with you later after I make my rounds. Excellent. Sorry for making up the call. I'm still getting used to the whole subterfuge thing you humans do. However, we now can take another run at having conversation with Jess. We have a dragon to slay. Onward, Nelavanda. <laughs> dragon to slay. That's a very epic way to put it, but I'll take it. Hey, that's the same person that was dancing in the non-VIP section before, right? Well, Jess is probably not going to be too happy. But who cares? You again. You know, as soon as I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net, and I'd never see you ever again. So of course, here you are again. 
And of course, then Tomcat messages me, practically begging me to help you out. <laughs> this option again is just... Jesus. There's the kitty's claws. Like, that's so... Patronizing? Is that the right word? I don't know. I'm definitely not going to say that. Uh, I think we got off to a bad start here. Yeah, no shit. I'll try to keep the bile down if you keep your foot out of your mouth. Sound fair? Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm talking to you because I owe Tomcat. I don't owe you shit. So if you want my help, you gotta do something for me. If you've got a problem with that, find someone else to keep your tourist ass out of trouble when you're wandering around places you don't belong. <laughs> She's probably not gonna like this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Tomcat did say you're a charitable soul. I don't do charity work for genotypical scum bigots, so just keep pushing me. Excuse me? Did- I'm sorry, did they just call me a genotypical scum bigot? In what way am I a scum bigot? The fuck? Like seriously, did I- did I do something to give her the impression that I'm a bigot? What in the hell? This can't be all because I thought she might be Tomcat because she had ears, right? Bounce you faster than the net spits out new slang for teenagers. You know, I'm sick of taking her shit. She's a fucking asshole to me. She does good work for other people. She does really good things for other people, but she's a fucking asshole to me. That's not okay. I need you to break up those protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. I preferred if you could do it discreetly. But I don't at all think you could finesse your way out of a wet paper bag. Just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles. And this media circus is making their lives difficult. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. I don't get it, Jess. You spit venom at me every time I open my mouth, no matter what I say. Damn it. You're about to do that journo thing where you press and pry until I give up my sad, sordid little tail. Then we can have a good cry and all be best friends forever, huh? Save your breath. You want to know what my deal is? Skin cancer. Stage 3. It was already spreading to my bones, right? But sharks don't get cancer. Well, at least not this kind. That's what they splice into you to stop it. Shark genes. My prognosis was so advanced that they were going to use the equivalent of a 10-ton hammer to smash it down. You ever seen someone with a bad shark splice? Can't say I have. It looks like a monster out of a goddamn kid's cartoon. If that's what you like to watch while well, blitzed on hallucinogens. So I had them fix me up with the cat genes to override the expression of the shark skin. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Better than otakus. Is it otaku or otaku? I think it's otaku. Better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than a monster from the deep. I mean, deeper than here. That's funny and sad at the same time. Better <laughs> an otaku's fluffy wet dream than a monster from the deep. Jeez. But that amount exceeded the limit that the HPA sets for allowing procreation. The damned Human Protection Act. Mmm, if you modify your genes too much, you're not allowed to procreate. I guess... Well, why exactly? Is that pure bigotry, or is that because the gene splicing can mess things up to the point where, like, your children can 
Like maybe it would be deformed or something? Hmm. That's... That's really freaking, really freaking serious business to get into, though. Regulating people's ability to procreate. That's... That's serious stuff, like... I don't even know how I feel about that, really. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you, does that apply to me? When did I ever say I think I need protection the most? What are you talking about? But that's fine, right? I just had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my gene therapy. <laughs> that is exactly the sort of shit insurance would pull, isn't it? Yep. That is... that is insurance. Insurance is basically designed to pay out the least amount possible. So many clauses and conditions. So many excuses not to pay. Elective. So, <laughs> it was elective for her to get cat genes so that she doesn't look like a monster. Really? That's elective? So I took those bastards to court. And won. And I've been doing the same thing ever since. Wait, so was she... Was she a lawyer and then she used her lawyerly abilities to take them to court? Or did she, like, become a lawyer because of that? Okay, well, at least she won. That's good. That's really good. So there you go. I'm sorry, how does that explain why you're treating me like shit? I, I thought that's what you were explaining. I got cancer, super science fixed me all up and left me a freak, and then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. That really is freaking horrible. So you? You're just another bastard complicit in a system where you're the winner until proven otherwise. God, the last option for the dialogue with her is always so nasty. Crying over a spilled milk saucer. That is a horrible thing to say. So it sounds like she was kind of forced to uh, to make herself look like a cat so that she didn't look like a monster. Like, I don't even... Th it sounds like she didn't even want to look, look like a cat. It's just that it's the better alternative. That's horrible. I don't even want to say anything, because I just know what she's going to say to everything. It doesn't matter what the hell I say. I don't want to be an asshole to her, honestly. I kind of do, because she's really treated me like shit, and it's really pissing me off, but I think I need to swallow that. She's been through a lot. It doesn't excuse how she's treating me, but she has been through a lot. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. And you didn't think. That's the problem. Maybe open your damn eyes a little. I need that more than your sympathy. We done here? Break up those protests, and then we'll talk. It sounds like we know what to do next. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. Mm, I'm gonna break up those protests to make things... Like, I'm not really doing it for Jess, honestly. I kinda still hate her. I gotta be honest, I hate her. I hate Jess. I hate Jess right now. 
Maybe something will happen to change that, but... Rudeness like that, really, even if... It just really pisses me off. So I'm not doing it for Jess, I'm doing it for all the people that go to the gene clinic that need or just want gene therapy because they don't deserve to be hassled by a bunch of asshole protesters. And I'm doing it for Hayden to hopefully find him and save him. But I'm not doing it for Jess. How am I going to break up a protest though? Well, there are the protesters, Nelavanda. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. These protests have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through intimidation. Seriously? They're not known for projecting their ideology through intimidation? I thought that's exactly what they were all about. Don't they intimidate people just trying to go in and out of the genus clinic? Hmm. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operations scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian is there in the center. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirmed that he's the leader of the local human revolution organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage? Hmm. So I've got a police ROM stationed out here, I guess to protect the genus clinic. Hassie! <laughs> All drinks are made with Hassie, an energy drink that supposedly has recovering properties. Well, so that's what Hassie is. It's an energy drink. Genus is one of the leading gene therapy clinics in the city. The group of protesters in front of the genus clinic. Looks like more than a couple people are a part of these, after all. They're holding a sign, one half of Stay Pure. Another one of the Human Revolution protesters. They seem passionate and diligent despite how long they've been out here. Who'd want to spend their holiday season doing this? This really doesn't seem too fun. <laughs> no. It's not hard to see why hybrids hate this rhetoric. Oh my god. You look like... Well... Kinda like Elvis, sort of? I think it's the hair that's doing it. Smarmy. I think smarmy is the right word for what you look like. You look smarmy. Also, would you like some super spoiled milk? Uh, your contribution to the cause is greatly appreciated. No, that's ours. You can't take it. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> yes, I get to keep it longer. Alright, well, let's open up with my card. Or, well, actually, not my card. Rather, Dr. Fairlight's card. Hello there. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I have pamphlets. Here, take one. Yannick Fairlight said to introduce myself. I have one of his cards here. Oh, yes. Yana called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in. He didn't elaborate. And I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But, if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? 
We found a Human Revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. Did I say spray painted? Because it should have been spray painted. Human Revolution spray painted? <laughs> they painted the spray. What? It's spray paint. It's kind of like one word, sort of. <clears throat> anyway. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah. Well, the Human Revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. Mm-hmm. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. Mm-hmm. I don't believe him. But... Off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned in to the proper authorities. A little community service might do them some good. I'll also, also let Yannick know anything I find out. Is there something else I can help you with? Could I ask you some questions about the human revolution? Of course! That's what I'm here for, after all. What can I answer for you? Okay, well, I hate the human revolution, so I'm gonna have to listen to this guy's garbage for a while, which is gonna be pretty unpleasant. Hmm. What are the ultimate goals of the human revolution? We hope to make the country more conscious of the technology we're developing, and make a move away from the more dangerous sciences before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're flirting with changing the very things that make us human, and that puts us in a far more dangerous course without a rudder to guide us. The revolution we want is for humanity, as a whole, to decide that the best course for our species is to remain as we were created, and return to living in simpler times with simpler tools. How do you plan on enacting the social change you want? At our core, we're a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. It only falls to us to make sure the people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their faith in unknowingly every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try to live more simply, and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. You don't make somebody less than they are being dead because they didn't take medicine that they needed. Like, come on. Why protest at this clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order, and threatens to unseat what it means to be human altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain in a metal box. There's a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatments, many of whom would be crippled or dying without advanced genetic modification. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us all cast aside our humanity for their miracle cures. Is there something else I can help you with? Nope. Thank you for your time. Of course. If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I'm starting to think you're getting back into this hard-boiled investigative journalist thing, Nella Vanda. You're like a hound on the hunt, sniffing anywhere you think something will turn up. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped.
I wonder what Turing thinks about the human revolution movement. I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the meshnet had led me to believe. Okay. That's fair. Don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to take a look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Like this adorable robot that does something? What does it do? Is it a cleaning bot? Oh, it's a weather room. It's so cute! It's got like... I think it's got like a little atmospheric cloud thing simulation going on inside the, the head. Interesting. An RSU climate control ROM, model 6703 if I'm not mistaken. Apparently it's owned by the Hassi Bar, based on this identification marker. Would you like spoiled milk? Are you prepared to be responsible for creating a new kind of tropical storm? One with spoiled milk for rain? I will take the responsibility. Where do I sign? A vibrant mix of weather sounds and natural ambience fills your ears. Sutro Tower. Sutro Tower isn't used for much anymore. Oh, the music just changed. But it's a beautiful reminder of the antiquated technologies of centuries past. The music just seriously changed. Went from groovy to kind of like... Kind of like... Depressed jazz? This is like heartbroken jazz. Like... Just left your partner of 10 years jazz. It's really depressing. Please make it stop. Please? Oh, there we go. Thank God. Hot cup. Sign for hot cup. The best ramen you can get around here for less than three credits. Milk. Whatever kind of strange food swap this would be, you'd definitely be the one coming out on top. <laughs> Talk to the sign. You can't make an order from out here. That's not a speaker. Dang. The Hassie Bar is another favorite local spot that's open 24-7, and they could definitely afford it. Hmm, let's talk to the robot. Let's not. Two's company. Three is a cloud. <laughs> but what kind of cloud? I'm trying to remember the names of clouds. There's Cirrus... Stratus? And then I don't remember the others. Let's go inside. Yo! How's it hanging, my friends? I don't actually know these people, they're not my friends. Ooh! Can I take a present? Actually, why are there presents? This is a public place. Why would a public place have presents? Unless... <gasps> are they only for display? Are they present lies? This is the most picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. Its branches are perfectly spaced. Every decoration is placed meticulously. Pure Christmas spirit flows through you momentarily. <laughs> Traditional Christmas fair plays, interspersed with the occasional modern holiday party song. Sidewalk is mostly empty, besides all of those protesters. Feature documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality. Hmm. Sounds cool. I'd like to see that. Another VR poster. Business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. Duck Game began as a traditional video game, but has recently become a popular VR sport. 
<laughs> the poster for Magical Commander Yukino, a Magical Girl VR drama. Eh. Still not as good as Madoka. Spotless, as expected from Hydrophobic Swede. Everyone loves Assy. Looks like they've got a sassy Hassy. Why do I feel like the game's descriptions are like advertising Hassy to me? What is it with Hassy? Even Turing basically advertises Hassy. Is it like programmed into everybody and everything? There are rumors that the plants here are actually given Hassy, not water. <laughs> oh god, what if. Has anyone ever tried to actually like watering a plant with, say, Red Bull or a Monster Energy Drink or something? What would happen? I'm, I'm curious. I'm assuming it would die, but I'm not actually sure. The counter is so clean it shines. It almost looks like it's emitting its own light. <sighs> Digital Hassy menu. Even if you don't want to drink, it's fun to watch. I'm starting to really hate Hassie, the more it's shoved down my throat. Ugh. Oh, you're the owner. Oh my god, you look amazing. You, you look like a magical girl. Maybe they're in the movie. No, probably not. This ROM serves up the Hassie. <sighs> you speak to the Hassie Realm and buy a Berry Hassie. Wait, where is it? Did I not buy it? I guess I could read the brochure. It's propaganda. And they really could have used better paper stock. Where's my Hassie? You go for another and order a super large Hassy. I guess I just drank it on the spot. You go on a Hassy rampage and grab a winter fresh Hassy. Hmm. Maybe a half in Hassy? You speak to the Hassy Rom and buy a classy Hassy. Oh my god, how many Hassies are there? What is this? You go for another and order a salty Lassie Hassy. Ugh. I'm gonna be poor, also, I'm probably, like, my stomach is probably bursting open right now. You go on a Hassie Rampage and grab a grassy Hassie shot. Mmm, maybe a Hassie Infinity? Okay, these names are just, like, randomized or something. Hassie Hot Chocolate. When are they gonna run out of Hassies? Classy, okay, Classy Hassie, that's the first time it's repeated, let's stop there. It's like the drink situation at the Stardust Bar all over again. Aw, that is the cutest little ROM you have there. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> so, Moe? Mo? I forgot how to pronounce that. I know it's Japanese. I haven't seen that model before. What kind is it? Uh, they're a custom model. Oh wow. You don't see a whole lot of those around. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just rich. Actually, I'm not. Please, can you give me a drink for free? Like, I'm really poor. Must have taken ages to get to get that case looking that good with a home printer, too. Really nice work. I'm impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? A drink? God, no more drinks, actually. Please. <laughs> Fine, I'll take another one. Uh, maybe some information, too? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside called the, outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Yeah, that wouldn't be good for business. I sure wouldn't want to hang around a protest. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. So, what do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? 
I'm Ramona. Guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan, and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my crippling addiction to VR dramas. <laughs> I love cute things and, and justice. And in another life, I'm pretty sure I'd be a magical girl. I knew you looked like a magical girl! Okay, so it wasn't just my imagination. What else? Uh, pretty much don't leave the store. You don't seem pleased about the human revolution. Look, I'm all for free speech, so I don't really want to run them off or anything. They've got the right to protest. I just know that once they're done with the hybrids, they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And I swear to any god that'll listen, if I have to unclog the toilet one more time, I will lose my damned mind. <laughs> Damn protesters clogging up the toilets. Uh, why would they come after you? Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an autocab crash when I was a kid. Never mind my neural links for VR interfacing. If it were up to those Neo-Luddites, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist. What more do they want? Is that your climate control... control ROM outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically it's the bars. I spent a mint on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs, since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we're... Uh, when we do Christmas in July. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. <gasps> oh, is that a hint? I need to make it snow to get the protesters to go back, because it'll be so cold that they'll need to leave. Yes. Wow, can make an entire block snow. Or, well, maybe not a block, but yeah, an entire street. That's amazing. How does it do that? It sounds kind of dangerous, frankly. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Uh, sorry, but that little thing set me back way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials to allow that in case it gets broken. Otherwise, no touching. Serious credentials. Hmm. Hmm. What about the business card from Dr. Yannick? That's not really credentials. Anyway, you called Turing Moe? I really don't know if it's pronounced Moe. I hope it's pronounced Moe. <laughs> Sorry. No dog speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to protect him from everything. Know what I mean? I do. He's super moe. A lot of otaku come around here. Probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like my character's really naive. Damn it, Nelavanda. Otaku? As in Japanese cartoons? Yes, Japanese cartoons. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, and I do keep up with all the newest VR dramas, but I'm a history buff. You gotta understand the past to really get the stories of the present, you know what I mean? I've been to Tokyo twice already. Japan is strange. It's very conservative and resistant to cultural change, even among the otaku. Akihabara is pretty much untouched from the early 2000s, even after the rise of the home printer. They just like making the pilgrimage to buy handmade figurines instead of printing them at home. The old otaku resist the new culture of the... Saishi? In the same way their parents refused to give up cassette tapes. The Saishi? Oh, sorry. 
the Saiba Shib... I'm not really sure how to pronounce these. Saiba Shibito. Shib... Shibito? Shibito. Saiba Sh I don't... whatever. The Cyber Dead. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Suddenly people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. It was just about the worst case projected scenario for the aging Japanese populace. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. So they got rich. Huh. Sounds kind of like a new, like, Silicon Valley or something. You know, a bunch of, like, young tech-savvy people getting rich on new technology. So even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever level Japan, they'd still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. Other countries are trying hard to keep up, both by training their own VR sculptors and researching more brain-like processing technologies. But the best stuff still comes out of Japan. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you can find more on the mesh, or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. I'd love to. That sounds really cool. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Okay, well, for now, I think that's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink. And let me know if you need anything else. Alright, well, this episode is running really, really long. Wow, I lost track of time. The, the writing in this game is just so good. I really want to poke around and just talk to more people. It's really cool. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to see if I can find a way to take control of the weather ROM and see if I can make it snow.